Hello everyone, Cactus Bagel here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add texture mods to Skyrim so that you will have a visually pleasant experience during your playthrough over the original graphics. So if you're a beginner in modding, or just want an update on how to do this and also don't want to go overboard on your mod list, then this video is for you. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up Mod Organizer 2, go to the globe icon, and click on Visit Skyrim SE on Nexus. Now go over to the search bar and type in alternate start. Click on the link. The alternate start mod allows us to skip the Skyrim introduction sequence and it also allows us to load into different parts of Skyrim so that we may visualize and test each mod that we have installed, making it a great tool for Skyrim modding. Also, make sure to scroll down the page and read the uninstall and load order information so that you have a bit of knowledge when it comes to the uninstallation of extensive Skyrim mods and that it's not recommended to do so and then continue on with your save file. So I'm going to go to Files and download with Mod Manager Alternate Start. And make sure, if you don't already have it, the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch, make sure this is installed. Now simply go back to Mod Organizer, double click, and install Alternate Start. Make sure you click the box to activate the mod. Now let's go ahead and jump into the game. Go ahead and click New Game. And you will see that the Live Another Life has now been activated. It doesn't matter what character you create, because you're not going to be using this save file, we're just using it for testing. And if you head over to the statue of Mara... Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. You can choose many different parts of Skyrim to spawn in. So I am going to be choosing a patron at a local Which inn, inn are you a patron of? In some place with a, a bit of woods and some roads, so let's go to the Dead Man's Drink in Fall. Even the lowest among us can rise to greatness. And then head over to the bed. Come on in, just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. And as you can see, base Skyrim is pretty, pretty drab. So, that's going to be the next thing we're going to do. We're going to turn all of this, all of the textures of Skyrim, into good-looking, high-quality textures. So, let's get started. So, open up your web browser, go to the search bar, and type in Skyrim 20. And you will see the Skyrim 20 2X by Fuchsia. Go ahead and click on this. And this mod is going to be my base texture mod, and I'm going to be adding other textures on top of this base. So this mod is going to replace a lot of stuff, but it's not going to replace everything. And we will see this once we load into the game. So let's head on down to the files. And one thing that you're going to see right away is that these files are very large. So go ahead and start downloading each and every one of them right now. So that's going to be the architecture part one, landscape part two, and part three other. So go ahead and do this now. Now that the files have finished downloading, go ahead and install part one, then part two, then part three. When this message pops up, I like to go ahead and click Rename and label this Part 2 Landscape and click OK. And go ahead and do the same thing for Part 3 Other. And you can click on the first file, and you can go ahead and rename it to Part 1 Architecture. I like to go ahead and rename them 
so that they are split into three separate files rather than merging them. That way if I want to uninstall one of them, um, I can do so. I like to have all of the three files that I downloaded uh, showing the three files rather than merging all these into one. It's completely a personal preference. Now once this is done installing, go ahead and go back to the mod page and download the quick fix. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and install. And again, you can rename it to whatever you would like, or you can merge the files. And there you have it, the 2020X mod is now installed. So let's launch the game and see how it looks. Spoons. And Fancy as you can see, party. there are still many, many things that the 22X mod does not cover. Um, there are some textures that have been replaced and they do look great, but we still have quite a bit to go. So we are going to continue modding and I'm going to start with the road textures next. So head on back to the Nexus webpage, go to the search bar and type in blended roads. Go to Files and Download with Mod Manager Blended Roads. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and install and select the Really Blended Roads option. And if you're using SMIM, go ahead and use the Compatibility Patch. And then initialize the mod. Now let's load back into the game. Sure spawns! Handsome man in Falkry. And as you can see, the road textures look much, much better, and the rocks now have a 3D depth to them. So let's go ahead and take a look at the mountains. And as you can see, the mountains and the rocks really aren't much to be desired. So let's go ahead and find ourselves a good mountains and rock replacer and let's see how it looks. Go back to your search bar and type in Skyland Granite and click on Skyland Granite Mountains then go to the Files section and download with Mod Manager the 4K Skyland Granite Mountains. Then go back to the download section and install Granite Mountains. I'm going to be using the gray version. Click next, add parallax, click no, and then install. And then load up your game. And would you look at that, the mountain textures now look much, much better. And so do the rock textures. This is a very, very good mountain and rock texture mod replacer. And I will say that our Skyrim is looking a lot better than it did from vanilla, just from a handful of mods. It is definitely starting to come along. So, what's the next mod that's really standing out for us right now? That would be the trees. So let's hop back out of the game, go back to the website, and find ourselves a nice tree mod. In the search bar, type in Happy Little and the Happy Little Trees mod will pop up. And go ahead and go to the Files section and download with Mod Manager. And go ahead and get the HLT patch as well. When they're done downloading, go ahead and install them. I like to choose All Trees. I do not wish to adjust the tree size. Click Next. Uh, this is your personal preference. I'm going to choose Default and Install. Initialize and go ahead and install the HLT patch as well. And I'm going to click Rename and I'm just going to name this HLT patch. And Initialize. So now let's jump into the game again, and now the trees look much, much better. The textures are 
much higher quality and our game is starting to look a lot more like a game released in 2024. Next mod that I would like to install would be the grass textures. So let's hop out of the game and find ourselves a decent grass texture mod. Go to your search bar and type in F-O-L-K and you will see Folk Vanger Grass and Landscape Overhaul. Go ahead and click and go to the file section and download the mod. Now go ahead and install. And this is starting to look much much better. The grass has now been upgraded to much higher quality and there's a lot more of diverse vegetation. Now let's see what we can do about the water in Skyrim and see if we can get it to look a little bit better. Go to your search bar and type in real for realistic water 2. Go to the download section and download with mod manager and then install. There's nothing in this menu that I need. Click next. I have the Murwatch Creation Club content. I do not have anything else. And then click install. Now let's run the game. And there we have some much better looking water textures. So let's take a stroll through Skyrim and let's see if we can find any textures that haven't yet been touched. And it seems like there's one right here. Uh, this plant is definitely vanilla. So let's see if we can find a texture mod that replaces this. And you can see that there are still some trees that haven't been touched as well. And also the mountain flower textures are vanilla as well. So let's go to our search bar and type in Mari. And you will see Mari's flora. Go ahead and go to files. And here you can choose which resolution you would like. You could have low res, medium res, or high res. I'm going to choose the high resolution. Go ahead and install once finished downloading. And here you're going to have a myriad of different options that you can customize what the flora looks like. Choose for vanilla game. Now let's hop back in the game and let's see if these plant textures have been replaced. And the shrubbery has been replaced with a more high quality texture. And also the little trees now have a much higher quality texture and look much better. Along with the mountain flowers as well. And because this texture doesn't really look that great, I'm going to add one more mod that replaces this to a much more aesthetically pleasing uh, plant. So let's go ahead and do that now. So head to your search bar and type in Draco and find Draco's 3D Plants and Shrub Replacer. And go ahead and download. Then install and start your game. And for me, this is a much nicer texture that I would like to see in my Skyrim. For the next mod, type in Door and click on Glorious Doors of Skyrim. Click on Files and Download. And then Install. I am going to choose the 4K texture size. I am not going to select the variant. And install. 
And let's go ahead and start the game up once more. Welcome. Let me know and if you want we're going anything. to load into the Bannered Mare and White somewhere. Run. And as you can see, the Bring doors to our youth today look really good. Gone. The age of aggression is so just now let's step outside done. to the streets of White Run and see how the game looks. Foolish old woman, you know nothing, nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. And what of my son? I would say it looks really good. There are still some textures that can be touched, so like the top of these uh, market stalls. Your son chose his side and he chose but board. everything and looks like it has Such pretty much uh, been changed. The loss, the of course, you can always get mods that change the uh, Those green the apples herbs. you sold me the other day yeah, were yeah. delicious. Aren't Vegetables they? look pretty good. I always set some aside for myself when the traders bring them up. Cheese looks really good. You get to the cloud district very often. Plus, sure the bands, those there's a mod for that too. Within a week. Oh. You're right. I'll have to remember that the next time I get a shipment. But overall, everything looks really good. And as you can see, the grass mod looks great. So we are pretty much done, so now let's step back out of the game. And the next step for you is to click on the globe icon and simply visit Skyrim SE Nexus and go to Mods, Mod Categories and then scroll down to Models and Textures. And you can spend as much time as you'd like going through all of these files and picking and choosing which one of the texture mods that you want the most in your game. And make sure that when you install your texture mods is to understand the difference between having the mods on the left and on the right side. Uh, things on the right side can be sorted using loot by clicking this button, but things on the left side have to be manually put in by you, the user. And to understand how this works in terms of texture modding right now for us, try to remember that whatever mod you have below another mod, the one that's below it is going to be the mod that's loaded into the game. For example, if you have texture mod A here and texture mod A here as well, and you like the way this texture looks more than the one that's in this texture mod pack, if you put the one that you want below the one on top of it, the mod below it will be the mod that you see in the game. So I really hope this tutorial helped everybody out, and I'll see you in the next one, and good luck on your modding ventures, everybody.